been our last episode of Salian Bagheera. The weather was great and Cheryl and Murray were enjoying a week at Lizard Island. There were plenty of places to go snorkeling and enjoy the marine life. We'll show you a bit extra footage this week of our snorkeling. Unfortunately, it'll probably be the last we can show for a while. We've had a little bit of bad luck. More on this later. We even had a couple of friendly dolphins come swimming by on the way to the Blue Lagoon. Cheryl found her inner child and even had time to relax in her blow up unicorn. We went for a walk up to Cook's Lookout, which was pretty brutal. Some of us got there a little bit quicker than others. And finally, we settled in for the traditional sundowners drinks with all the crews at Lizard Island. This episode of Sailing Big Era, we start off at Lizard Island in far north Queensland. And now the previously lovely Lizard Island has reverted to its normal Blizzard Island. We have strong winds of up to 35 knots. To keep abreast of the weather information, we have to make our daily trip up to Telstra Rock, also known as the Island Internet Cafe. Bad luck if you belong to Optus. This trip is an almost daily occurrence and takes about 15 minutes. Pretty hard slog. Okay, this is what we call Telstra Rock or our internet cafe up here. We found a shady spot. Uh, we rest our phones up on those rocks there and hot spot from there. And I don't know whether you can see in the distance. Just through the gap there is Cape Flattery uh, that has a mobile tower on it. So. Uh, we have to make sure we're in the gap between the hills and we have a direct line of sight. And I'm just recovering after the walk up the hill. Looking a bit tired there, Cheryl. Yep. We actually videoed down at the resort to see how far up it is. After we've looked at all our emails and done our internet business, we're normally hot and bothered, so we like to go for a quick snorkel.
because of the clarity of the water, we decided we'd try something a little bit different. So we went inshore a bit, where the water is probably knee deep to armpit deep, and we thought we'd see if we can swim with some turtles. It's about this time that Shira forgot to close the charging latch on the GoPro. Unfortunately, the GoPro died. So no more underwater footage. So now all our footage will be recorded on our phones. Hopefully the quality will be just as good. One of the good things about Lizard Island is even when it's windy, there are things to do. It's renowned for all its walks. And this time we're going to walk to Coconut Beach. After a lovely picnic lunch, it's time to go back home. This time, we have to climb that hill. Cheryl does it easily. I thought I was going to have to carry her up there. When we get back to Mrs. Watson's Bay, we have time for a swim. Before our final sundowners, it's time to leave Lizard Island. Okay, we're thinking this might be our last sundowners on Lizard Island. There might be a chance we're leaving tomorrow, so <laughs> saying goodbye to everyone. Bye, mate.
<laughs> See you tomorrow, Corey. Yeah, it's possibly. Uh, I'm just videoing our last possible um, sundown. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get rid of us.